the word of god says shout for joy to god all the earth sing the glory of his name give to him glorious praise say to god how awesome are your deeds so great is your power that your enemies come crying to you all the earth worships you and sings praises to you they sing praises to your name i greet and welcome you all to this uh, worship service in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ as we begin our worship shall we look to the lord and pray our gracious loving heavenly father we thank you so much from the bottom of our heart for all the benefits and the good thing that we have received throughout the past week thank you for uh, your ceaseless presence and your guidance and thank you for providing all that we have needed lord gracious god we submit ourselves during this time and we pray and invoke your presence in our midst help us to worship you in the beauty of holiness help us to seek you with true heart and lord as we will be singing some songs and as we will be meditating upon your word speak to all of us personally and may your name be exalted through our worship lord thank you so much because you are answering to our prayers in jesus precious name we pray amen for the glory of god let us sing a song giving offering is also one of the important part of our worship when we give offering to god we express our thanks and gratitude to him this is the time you can give your offering through online and the account number of our church is scrolling below and you can give your offering by looking into that account number shall we intercede for the various needs shall we pray god we thank you so much because you have been taking care of all our brothers and sisters those who are watching this worship service through the channel of youtube lord we pray that may you continue to bless all of their endeavors may you help them to come out from all their struggle in life and may your grace be sufficient for all of them lord as we are living in in the period of uh, lockdown and as we are not accessible to many things freely we pray that uh, may you provide all their needs according to the riches of your glory we pray for all those who are sick in our community if there is anyone in our congregation who is watching this youtube lord please uh, heal them when they are in need of your healing touch them with your uh, hand and lord help them to recover fast so that they will glorify your name and they will testify you are a god who heals all our disease we also remember all our brothers and sisters those who have celebrated their birthdays in the near past lord bless their life and as they are entering into a new year help them to have a very meaningful year and help them to have a year filled with peace joy testimony and a year of success lord we also pray for your servant uh, mr sanjeev samantaroy as he will be bringing your word anoint him father hide him beside your cross and speak to all of us very personally so that we will be equipped in your word and we will live a life that will be a pleasing sacrifice unto you we thank you once again lord because you have been answering to our prayers and in the past days you have been giving guidance to the leaders of our country and the leaders of our state may you continue to supply your grace in their life we pray lord may you give them continuously your uh, wisdom and knowledge so that the present situation will be controlled and lord many common people those who are uh, suffering and those who are going through a tough time their life will be their struggle will be relieved lord we pray that uh, may you give your wisdom to the doctors and the medical professionals all the researchers so that they will find a proper vaccine 
a proper treatment to come out of this situation. Lord, we pray for the people, those who have uh, given their offering with much faith. May you bless their treasures and uh, provide all their needs. And those who do, could not, may you bless them also and enable them so that in the days to come they will be able to give you their gratitude. Once again we submit our life and all our rest of the worship unto your care. For we ask everything in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. For today's meditation, the scripture portion is taken from the letter of Paul to Romans chapter 4 verse 19 and 20 only. Romans chapter 4 verses 19 and 20 only. And here it is written, And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about a hundred year old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. This is the word of God. Now this is the time to listen from the word of God. And today we are privileged to have the servant of God, Mr. Sanjeev Samantarai with us to share from the word of God. May I call him this time in the name of our Lord to come forward and give us the message for today. I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and welcome to today's devotion. Today we'll be looking into God's word and especially after much prayer, God has given me his word. This service, we should meditate on the word of God and the life of Abraham, God's faithful servant who believed on God, who had faith on God and he was given the chance, a name, the father of faith. If we look and study about Abraham, he was a man who once did not believe God but became the father of all who believed God. His life was transformed. His life was changed from nothing to something, from having uh, been a worshipper of idols, from coming from a family who did not know the true and real God. God called him and blessed him from everything. Abram's faith is remarkable. When there was nobody else who uh, believed in God, Abram believed in God. If we look to his life, his life is very remarkable and his life is very uh, unique because of his faith. When there was nothing visibly proof to believe, Abraham came to the Lord and he believed. If we want to learn from the word of God, if we want to learn from uh, the life of Abraham, we must learn from his faith. If we see and look into his life, three things we can learn. The very first thing is, Abraham became the father of many nations, as promised in Romans 4.18. When Abraham was called by God, he believed, he had faith, and he came to the father. He believed God, and God rewarded him for becoming the father of many nations. Now see, God promised him when he had no children. When he was nearly 75 years of age, God called him. When Sarah was barren in Genesis 11:30, you see, God called him. And when he called Abraham and told that this is what I'm going to bless you with, if any layman would have been there, if any person would have been there, he would not believe. But see, God was so perfect and Abraham's faith was so perfect. Abraham believed at God's word. In today's life when God calls us, in today's life when God calls us uh, to believe something, to have faith on something, we must remember, even though we do, do not see the path, even though we do not have any proof, but still we should believe, but still we should accept that 
we should accept that with faith because the one who has said it is faithful if there is no proof except the stars in the sky abraham only had god's promise abraham only had god's word he didn't have any promise but he believed only on the god of the heaven and earth who created the stars and showed him that your descendants will be numerous now see because god doesn't give you the road map or the way he will never give you the road map or the way because he is the way the only solution the only trick the only uh, thing that we must remember is to follow him if we follow the way if we follow the truth we will come to the land of promise we will surely see the promised land second thing by faith abraham was credited with righteousness genesis 15:6 he had faith and he believed god's promises and his faith made him to be counted as righteousness my dear friends when we come to the lord we must have faith we must know that yes god has believed in us god has called us he will have a blessing for us and he has surely for each and every one who believes on him third by faith abraham received god's promises to him if we see god called abraham in genesis 12 and he changed his name from abram to abraham in genesis 12:4 abraham departed as the lord had spoken and then he was 75 years when he went out from haran he believed on the lord when he believed on the lord he went out of haran he he obeyed god's promise he did not see what future holds for him but he knew the one who holds future for him praise god this time this moment the world is going through difficulties we all are facing these circumstances these difficulties but remember we do not know what future holds for us but we know the one who holds future for us every 118 says he went out and not knowing where he was going in the book of hebrew his his the writer says abram went out without knowing where he was going sometimes in our lives we have to go we have to follow god in ministry we have to follow god we have to we have to hear that still voice and if we are faithful god will bless us god will bless us in every way possible he will provide us he will promote us he will take care of us but we have to be obedient we can believe god for what he says no need for a sign it's sufficient for a believer that my lord has spoken to me there's no need for a perfect sign if you really believe on god we can believe god even when circumstances say no even in when the whole world says no or it is negative but still we can believe god because god has said we will also receive god's promise if you believe you will receive but when god called him god blessed him it took 25 years and when he was nearly 100 years of age he got a son he got the promised son but then came a time when he had to sacrifice his son then there came a time when his faith was tested and this test was not to defeat him this test of faith was not to conquer him but this test was to promote him to bless him to bless him in a way that abraham couldn't see when god told in genesis 22 if verse 2 you read at that point of time god called abraham and talked to him and said go and sacrifice your son go and sacrifice your son see this is same abraham whom god called and blessed if you read that was the scripture portion romans 4 1920 it said he was then almost 100 years old but his faith did not weaken when he thought of his body which was already practically dead or of the fact that sara could not have children his faith did not leave him and he did not doubt god's promise his faith filled him with power and he gave praise to god see 
He was 100 years of age. He, he believed on each and every word of God. And when he believed, it became possible for him. We must remember, when we work as a believer, when we work uh, believing on God's promises, there is a time when we must believe that God, if he says uh, Abraham to sacrifice his son, you know, in his mind, he has something different. Abraham doesn't know that. But he knows the Lord who blessed him from nothing to everything, he will bless. And that's why in that faith, he believed in God. And when he believed in God, he went obeying the Lord. You see, sacrificing your own son, sacrificing your own son, uh, which you got nearly at the age of 100. It's a century. You waited for 100 years. It's not so easy, my friends. But only the secret was, the greater the cost, the greater the sacrifice. In our lives also, sometimes it comes when we have to sacrifice something for the Lord, for the Lord's work. But remember, wherever, whenever you sacrifice something, you must remember, if the sacrifice is a great, if your calling is great, if the cost is great, your reward will be also a great reward. God will bless you. He will see your sacrifice. He will see the cost. He will see your faithfulness. And in due time, in His time, He makes everything beautiful. He will call you. He will bless you. And when you obey Him, you will see mighty wonders that God will bless you through. You see, sacrifice does not come with answers. Abraham was nowhere explained why he has to do his, these things. Why he has to uh, sacrifice his son. But he obeyed the Lord. And when he obeyed, his faith was tested. His faith was promoted to glory. He was blessed with blessings that no one had. See, godly obedience should be swift. When God says something, we must remember and there should be no delay. Abraham's faith and obedience was of pure, unwavering obedience. When God says something to us today, sometimes we make delay. Sometimes we see and think, uh, does this really has to be done for the Lord? Uh, this is a price too expensive, too costly for me to pay. Uh, not only in a matter of money, but in our lives, we have to give time. We have to sit in the presence of the Lord. We have to detach ourselves from the world sometimes to get that is so much uh, satisfying to our soul. You see, the world is going through trials. The world is going through tribulations. And this is thus just a start. And when these things are going to come, we must remember there is a time when much things will come. Difficult than these times. Are we ready for that as a believer? And we must obey the Lord and have in our mind, whatever comes the situation, we must obey the God. Obedience both relies on God for strength and expects God to deliver. Abraham relied on God for strength. See, in spiritually, in emotionally, he must have been second. He must have thought that Lord who gave me this son, now he says go and sacrifice your son. What? What should I do? But he had a whole night before early morning rise and go. But he went to the Lord. He believed the Lord and he went. You see Genesis 22 verse 5. He says, we will come back. We are going to worship and we will come back. So Abraham had a faith. Although it seems unclear air, but still I know beyond that air, beyond that scene that I cannot see, God is in control. And God was really in control when in verse 8, he said, God himself will provide. When his son is asking, when Isaac is asking, where is the lamb to, that is to be sacrificed? Father, where is the lamb? And he says to his son, my son, God will provide. Yes, my dear friends, when you are going through faith, when you are going through trials, 
tribulations you must have faith when you believe on each and every word of god you must know god is in control and god will help you and god will provide for you because he is the provider the altar was built but there was no lamb his son is asking where is the lamb in verse uh, 9 to 10 of genesis chapter 22 you see he took his knife to slay his only son and the promised son see abraham knew that my promise god's promise is in this son but when the time comes to obey god he took the knife and he was already prepared and he within a fraction of second he would have slayed his son you see sometimes it comes when you have to decide between the blessings and the blesser and at that right time the blesser sees whom do you love do you love the one who blesses you the blesser or do you love the blessings that's the fault of human kind sometimes we love the blessings so much we forget the blesser but as rightly moses said when you eat and you are full do not forget the blesser that's the secret that's the secret my friends to prosperity that's the secret to obedience if you never fall forget the blesser you will never be in want of the blessings god will bless you god will help you god will be with you this is a journey a journey for victory and god is with you see sacrificing someone you love for someone you love more this is a very difficult thing abram when he sacrificed his own son you see just imagine keep yourself in his place it was so difficult it was so so difficult but you know why he he did not uh, he, he was not taken back because sacrificing someone you love he loved his son yes but not much more than the lord praise god in our life there will come time when we have to choose between the world and between the lord when we have to choose between uh, the worldly blessings the blessings sometimes the god the lord has given but we have to remember we must choose the lord and that is only possible when we love the blesser more than the blessings in our life we must love the blesser and not the blessings the lord provided see abraham had the faith god will provide the lord will provide and in genesis 22 12 14 he said the lord provided we see the lord said at the right time at the end time wait and he provided the lamb when god has promised he will bless you when god requires he provides in our life we must learn from abraham his life was a life to be learned we must learn abraham was called by god he had nothing to do with the lord he did not know the real true loving god but when god called him he was faithful when god called him he was obedient and throughout his life this is just a uh, vital uh, uh, circumstance just a vital point of his life when his faith was tested for glory for promotion in this life when we come to the lord we must remember when god asks that something that is very costly that is uh, very very hard to pay we must remember his reward is also very big in this time in this journey of our life i do not know but we must be faithful to the lord whatever the circumstances may be whatever the uh, trials and tribulations may be have your mind set your mind if god has said something in his word we must believe the word of god says faith did not weaken when he thought of his body now in these times something may be difficult i know physically it may be difficult but which was already practically dead you see his body was practically dead but he believed on the lord and the fact that sara could not have children she was also aged but at that time also abram believed on the lord abram believed the god who called me the god who blessed me the god who is so faithful he will never leave me his faith did not 
leave him and he did not doubt God's promise. That's the main vital thing. You must never doubt God's promise. His faith filled him with power. And if you have faith, the word of God says, Abraham's faith filled him with power. And he gave praise to God. You must believe. You must have that in your mind. I know my Lord. I follow my God. And in every time of difficulties, in every situation, I have to put my faith on the Lord and Lord and Lord, only Lord. And rest of the things, he will take care of. If he was faithful to Abraham, he is faithful to you. The word of God says, every blessing that was given to Abraham is for you and me, for those who believe God. He is our father. And we must remember the Lord who was faithful for Abraham. He is faithful to me and he is faithful to you. He will bless us. He will take care of us. He will take care of our families in this time of difficulties. I hope and uh, pray to the Lord that the Lord be with you. We just have to be obedient. We just have to be faithful to the Lord. And in these times also, the Lord will bless us. The Lord will help us and take care of us. I pray and wish the Lord take care of you. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. I thank the preacher for enlightening every one of us from the word of God. May the good Lord continue to use him for the expansion of his kingdom. At this time, we will have the closing prayer. Now may I request Reverend Poritos Rauth to come forward and lead us in the concluding prayer. And after that, he will offer the benediction. Gracious Heavenly Father, we are thankful to you for the word that came to us. Lord God, help us to keep those words in our heart and to follow it accordingly. Father, also we pray for your servant. You bless him. Use him more in the days to come, O oh Lord. Father God, we pray for all our brothers and sisters, those who are watching our service through YouTube. Lord God, bless all the families. Provide us whatever the needs and necessities of the, of the coming week, O oh Lord God. And let your grace be upon us throughout the week so that we can do the things which is acceptable to you, O oh Lord. Father God, also we pray for the sick people. Lord God, stretch forth your healing hand upon them and heal them completely, O oh Lord. We pray for good health of all our believers, Lord God. You bless everybody. And Lord, be with all of us. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. We ask this prayer in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. May the love of God the Father, grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, fellowship and presence of the Holy Spirit be with all of you from now and forever. Amen. The service ends here. Go in peace and serve the Lord. May God bless you all.